Sagittarius, happy birthday to my Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, happy new moon. Happy December 1st. We're in a new cycle. We're in a new phase within a new cycle. Yes, I have to make sure I say it right. We're in a new phase within a new cycle. So happy new moon. Happy new moon. Yes. So look forward to expansion, expansion, expansion. Your ruling planet Jupiter is retrograde. So slow down. Find out what your um, Jupiter, what sign Jupiter is in for you all. I know you all are ruled by um Jupiter, but um, find out what your moon sign is also, so you can make sure there's a flow. The moon has an affinity with water, but make sure you know what your moon sign is. It's just as important as your sun sign, so while you're talking about Team Sagittarius, you're making sure that there's a balance there as well, right? Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Talking to you wherever Sagittarius is in your birth chart. Let's do it. All right, Sagittarius, happy birthday. I am enjoying talking to you all, so you all by now know what the giveaway is. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. The giveaway is free readings for my, uh, wherever Sagittarius is in your birth chart. So um, you can just text me. My number is in the description, um, even for my cross watchers. So if you happen to be cross watching and you know you have Sagittarius in your birth chart, then text me, okay? And we can schedule some time to talk. All right, let's do it. Let's see what's in your cards. Expansion, expansion, expansion. Good luck. What's on the horizon for you all, Sagittarius? All that good stuff. All that good news. Good news, good news. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, Sagittarius. Justice. All right. We have the Hermit card. Somebody has been in Hermit mode. We have the Nine of Wands, a Hierophant card, Six of Swords. And then also the Four of Pentacles. Talking to you again, wherever. <clears throat> so here's the Justice card. Oops. We have the Hermit card. So somebody has been in Hermit mode. Somebody has been in Hermit mode. Here we have the Higher Font card. Yeah. We also have the Six of um, Swords here. We also have the Nine of Wands here, and then we also have the Four of Pentacles here, right? So somebody has definitely been a little bit more conservative with their time, which is a good thing, right? And it's like every since you moved on, you just like moved on with your life quietly. Um, you've had to deal with two energies, possibly three. That's just been vain, vengeful, green with envy, unfortunately, and... It's just doing the most and you just moved on. So like somebody moved on, we just went right into hermit mode, right? Um, and when you look back, you realize this wasn't a whole lot of growth there. You know, when you look back, you know, just with the shade, the comments, the sarcasm, the so on and so forth. But there could have been one energy that you look back and you start being more um, conservative with your time, you know, with whatever, whoever that energy was. Um and let's see how that kind of sort of worked out. So usually when you move on, there may be like a few people that you keep in contact, you know, with your past. Like that could be like if you move on from a job, you may keep in contact with maybe like one or two people from your job or like a geographical location. You may relocate, you may keep in contact with a couple of family members or a couple of people from your old neighborhood or whatever. So let's see what that looks like. Let's see what that looks like. But you had an ancestor to help you to move on. So for those of you all who may be moving, relocating, or whatever. Um, if you look back and it just looks like it just wasn't a whole lot of growth where you moved on from, you keep in contact with a few people there. Um, make sure you're kind of sort of taking notes of just like, just um, how the elements could affect people, like people's growth. Just to, like make sure you're taking notes of how it could affect, you know, like the water could affect people. The fire, meaning the the fire, the, the soil could affect people, like the um, fire, earth, air, all of that, the conversation could affect people. You know what I'm saying? Like 
the conversation around us, that would be the air. Like, could affect people. Like, people hearing a bunch of negativity, that could be the air spell work. Like, if people, the type of music people are listening to, that could be air. The kind of conversation people are talking about, that could be air. The kind of stuff they're, um, you know, the, conversa- the conversation that's floating around. Is there, like, a lot of, um, like, the statistics in the area of just, like, different, just stuff that's going on there. And just, like, because water, again, is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and surrounds it based on where you're going to. So there could be also a cultural difference to where you're going. So just, like, the, the accent could change your mindset could change to where you're going. So the conversation could be different where you're going. So you may think that you, you're, wherever you're going, you all are going to be still the same. There could be some similarities, but you could be going somewhere and you could be becoming a totally different person. And so you may think, okay, we're just we're separating, but you could be becoming a totally different person and not even realize that you're becoming your, your mindset could be changing, right? So, let me see. So, you're thinking you're just being separated by a body of water, but you could be coming a different, be becoming, like, so be becoming. I hope I'm saying that right. Becoming or be becoming, I don't know. Yeah, I'll put it together. So, here's the death card. So the death rebirth card is like this, it connects us with um, the judgment card. It's it's, it's Scorpio, but it's, uh, Scorpio is ruled by the um, tower card, which is like total recall, and then also by the judgment card, right? So as you're kind of going back, see how this person is on water and they're just kind of sort of calmly moving on. You don't see the water like splashing all over the place. You have an ancestor that's helping you to move on. And so when you look back and you see there wasn't a whole lot of growth there, right? See so these like little buds coming out of the, um, the wands here. <clears throat> You're kind of going back through a total recall of like, when did everything just die? Like, when did it just die? When did it just end? So you're going back through a total recall. That's a tower moment. Like you're going back through just like, when did it end? When did everything just end? When did it just die? What happened, right? So that's what somebody is going back. Like, when did it end? What what happened? Right? Because I'm seeing a new beginning for you. Here's the Ace of Cups here. So this is a new beginning. Right? So this is where you look up your Jupiter and your Moon. Right, Jupiter and Moon. Find out what your Moon sign is because it's a new beginning for you. It's your Moon sign and your Jupiter, right? Because you're putting together your list of what you're grateful for and then also putting together like what nurtures your spirit because it's a brand new beginning for you. Because <clears throat> you're being more conservative with your time, right? So here we have the Seven of uh, Swords here, right? Because when did the assassination of your character begin? Like, when did that begin? When is the low vibrating conversation? When did all of that begin? And why? That's the dark side of seven. Why? Right? When did the disrespect to you begin? Here's the eight of swords. Because remember, the judgment card also connects us with an obsession. So part of it is like you almost kind of find out you know who started it, but why did, okay, because the Seven of Swords is two energies, right? You know why one. You're not surprised at one of them, but then the other one, right? <clears throat> the other one, and that's the Four of Pentacles, right? The other one, which is a younger one, the Page of Pentacles, right? So I'm feeling like there's a there's about to be a whole new lease on life, right? Here's a justice card. Again, justice is in your favor. So a, de- a decision has been made. A decision has been made. <clears throat> there's a definitely an imbalance here, right? Definitely an imbalance. Here's the two of pentacles here. That's getting ready to be brought back into balance because it feels like a whole new lease on life here. 
right? Here's a ten of pentacles because now somebody knows their worth and their value in your life, right? Here's a ten of um, pentacles here. Whole new lease on life. Whole new lease on life. Right. Here's the six of pentacles. Financial independence. Some money is coming across your path. Yeah, so financial independence. So there was definitely some influence going on here. Definitely some influence going on here. Emotionally, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot because um, not only is it a wish fulfillment for you, but it's a new beginning for, you know, somebody here in the cards, right? <clears throat> You're teaching people how to save themselves. You're teaching people how to save themselves. Because we're not each other's savior. But you're teaching people how to save themselves. Right. Talking to you wherever um, Sagittarius is in your birth chart. Teaching people how to not be a pick-me spirit. Right? When people don't know their own worth and know their own value, <clears throat> other people determine their worth and their value, and they will treat them like anything. So they're teaching people how to balance it out themselves. So it's somebody going to put like a whole new lease on life. And they're teaching them how to save themselves, and it's a win for you. That's how justice is in your favor. It's a win for you. So when you're at a fork in the road, after you have moved on from a job, geographical location, or whatever, it's bigger than just a separation of just water, if that's the case. You know, or you moved across the street, right? Or you moved across, you know, a continent or a body of water, whatever, right? It's different than, it's just, it's, you know, uh, food, language, culture, those things, right? Sometimes socioeconomic status. It's just a lot of different things um, that separates. But you teaching people their value in your life, you know, your val their value in your life and teaching them to know their worth and know their own value actually empowers people, right? And also that you cannot be talked to any kind of way because you know your worth and you know your value. And so, um, so we got six, seven, and eight of swords here. Yeah. So there's, yeah, there's no growth. There's, you will never come back. You will never go back to being talked to that way. Right. And you're determined not to be talked to that way. You have just too much to be grateful for. That's your Jupiter, right? <clears throat> By by your family or anybody's family for that matter. So if it's your family, you would never be talked to that way, talked down to. But if it's if you have a spouse, you'll never be talked back to their family any kind of way. You just you know your worth and you know your value. And you will be independent of anybody be then be talked to any kind of way. Right? So you get out of it what you put into it. Right? So you put you're willing to put into it, but you were you also get out of it too. So See how these kids right here are happy whether they in between these people or not? So that means you're teaching, if you have kids, you're teaching them their value, whether they're invited or not, right? Even a dog is smiling, right? The dog, is, the dog symbolizes security and protection. So these kids feel secure and protected whether they're invited or not, whether they're in between these two people or not. So you're secure. You're, in other words, you're good whether you're invited or not, right? So that's how you save yourself. You save yourself the, you know, being talked to any kind of way. You're good regardless of not, regardless whether you're invited or not. So I see soulmate in your life. Soulmate is not always romantic, just so we're crystal clear. Soulmate is just like part of soul community. So you pick up on people's um, you pick up on people's energy very very well, right? So we have six and ten. So you remember you this is your soul community here. So like I said, brand new beginning. 
your wishes are fulfilled, their wishes are fulfilled. So whoever, yeah, so you and somebody's wishes are fulfilled. I said you're on the rebirth side. Everybody's wishes are fulfilled. You're going to somebody, your yeah, page of coins, everybody feel like they have a whole new lease on life. Mm hmm Page of swords, somebody's taking notes. Yeah, people are taking notes. You feel very fortunate. There you go. Expansion. Expansion, expansion, expansion. Back to hard work. There you go. All right. Legacy. Mm -hmm. Some new seeds are being planted here. So somebody has um so a new new love. New love could be um new love is not always a person. New love could be a new hobby. So you could like gardening, because you see these two people right here, it looks like they're gardening, like planting seeds. It could be new gardening, could be, I mean, guard, not new gardening, but gardening could be a new love for somebody, right? Um, usually when people move on, they find a new community or things to get involved in. So that could be something for you. Yeah, but that sometimes happens like when people get married and people feel like, okay, something is you kind of wonder what happened you feel like okay you got married to somebody what happened like between siblings or like what happens between like family members things like that like what happened like when did when did the death happen <laughs> like everybody's still connected what when did the death happen like when did the grieving and mourning when did the vain vengeful green with envy come out like when did the green monster come out like then there's a fork in the road this is a chariot car where there's like a fork in the road is a pause and people are going back through total recall. That would be Scorpio because Scorpio is ruled by the Tower card and the Judgment card. When did the Judgment come out? When did people assume you were judging them or vice versa? Then you go through the total recall, the Tower card, like what happened? Um, at what point in the water, how far away from them and how close to when you got settled on land, did the judgment begin? When when did all of this happen, right? So that's when people start kind of going back through their mind. When when did the character assassination start? When did you not when did you start putting on the blindfolds? When did your ancestors around you start telling you, like whispering in your ear, guess what they talking about you? <laughs> like when, when when did all of this happen, right? Right? When did all of that happen? So that's where somebody start going back through their mind. So anyway, but it's all good. It turned out the way it's supposed to turn out, looking at your cards here. So, um, yeah, so new beginning. New beginning, new beginning. And now you're pouring into yourself. Like I said, pouring into yourself compassion, right? Compassion for you, compassion for everybody involved. Compassion, compassion, compassion. Big old cup of compassion. All right, let's pull out the pink cards. Let's pull out the pink cards. And that's where justice is in your favor. That's why justice is in your favor on both sides. And that's why it's a new beginning because, again, you start going back through your mind and you start really start looking at, like, when when did it happen? Because people really still are still looking at just the physical. It's like, well, we're still connected. We're still family. We're still this. We're still that. But that's just not – you got to look at all of it. You got to look at the, the whole – piece of pie you gotta look at the whole pie not the piece of pie but anyway they are not happy without you somebody failed is still in your identity um in other words there were some people who were trying to mirror you like basically trying to be you like that would be like you moved on and somebody trying to I mean, it's deeper than someone trying to fill your spot at the family events and the holidays, like trying to tell your jokes and they just don't come out the same way you telling the jokes or trying to cook the food that you cook and it just doesn't have the right seasoning to it. It's it's, it's a lot deeper than that. Um, but that's why your home is if no one is watching. Your laughter is medicine. You just can't be replaced. It's just there's only one you. There's only one you. So when you're putting together, when you look up your moon sign and your Jupiter, and you're talking about expansion, this is you talking about 
you are great. You're putting together your gratitude list. You are grateful to be you, not just any Sagittarius. You are grateful to be you. There is no one who is like you, right? And there are some energies that are not happy when you are not around. So, somebody wants the best for you, but there's some energies. You don't have to return their call, but <clears throat> third eye chakra cleanse. And don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. Somebody regrets lying to you. Um, your well of joy is within you. Um, um, your ex was on some kind of an assignment. But in other words, some people were just playing, like, thought they were playing games when they played themselves. I mean, that's the, really the long and short of it. But you're not looking back. You're not looking back, you're not going back. So, drink more water as a form of self-care. Everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. Everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. Like I said, that's why justice is in your favor. Because it, it worked out the way it was supposed to. But you have the gift of clear cognizance, and there are signs all around you. Signs all around you. Um, close out the cycle in love. He apologizes for betraying you. Um, whoever betrayed you, whether it was sister-in-law, brother-in-law, adult kids, whoever, somebody felt like they were holding on to people and using people against you as leverage, but it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to work out. That's, that's really the long and short of it. So things are working out the way they're supposed to work out for you. And people are like, oh man, you know, they thought somebody, people thought that you were going to turn that boat around or the plane around or the car around and come back and you didn't. And things actually worked out very well for wherever you are in life, uh, Sagittarius, things are actually getting better for you all. There's expansion on the horizon for you all and it's only getting better, right? So it's actually inspiring people to say, wow, you know, we tried it. And it didn't work out the way we thought it was going to work out. Trying to manipulate Sagittarius. And things are just getting better for you and whoever. I mean, if you're with somebody, it's getting better for you and your person. If you're single, it's getting better for you. And if you desire to be with somebody, you're about to meet somebody. I mean, it just doesn't pay to try to manipulate people. It just doesn't. So, you're letting go. Everything is indeed out of control, and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. People thought you was going to turn the boat around, and you didn't. You actually made it work. Somebody, you just took a chance on you, and, and it actually worked. You didn't turn the motorcycle around, the boat, the car, the ship, the plane. Right? So connect with your ancestors. Energy. I'm full of creative ideas. I'm alive and well. I am bold. I'm healthy and I'm happy. I nourish my body with healthy foods. I hydrate my body with adequate water. Yeah, make sure you drink your water too. Um, your moon, the moon has an affinity with water, so you want to make sure you keep your body, you know, like eating foods with high water content, you know, your fruits and things. Um, I hydrate my body with adequate water. My purpose is here and now. Today I am blessed with an abundance of energy. Yeah. Thirty-three. I'm expanding. So yeah. Um, any positive changes or projects that you're considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I'm telling you, things are just getting better for you all. It's just getting better. That's unfortunate that people try to manipulate people by trying to use something as leverage to, to control you. And if you're with your person, to control you and your person because it didn't work. You try a character assassination, you know talking down to you or talking you know negatively to you or somebody else talking about your family i mean just doing the most and it still didn't work you know and, and matter of fact all it did was just go went back to them it literally it literally what's the word i'm looking for backlash and things got better for you and if you're with your person it got better for you and your person i mean it just doesn't that's why I always talk about high vibrational on my channel. Keep your vibrations high. 
No matter what, keep your vibrations high. That's what I have for you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all. Make it a great week. Don't forget to get some rest this um, next couple of days. Let your body sync with the rhythms of the moon. So you'll really start to... The, the new moon phase is really about closing out that last cycle. Letting your body sync with the rhythms of the moon. So you'll start to get used to what it feels like. You'll literally start to understand what every human being goes through on planet Earth with their moon sign because as the moon waxes and wanes through every zodiac sign every two and a half days you'll start to say okay now i understand what everybody's moon sign goes through like with their feelings i'm, I'm feeling what everybody feels whenever their, their moon moves through their zodiac sign so that's what i'm seeing for you in your cards so keep expanding Put that list together what do you want to expand find out what your sign is in jupiter and find out what your moon is that's what I have for you. Bye.